Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, today I would like to speak about the value of parents. Many people do not value their parents. And yes, it's not going to be easy at times to have a beautiful relation with our parents, especially as we grow a little bit older, sometimes when you get married, sometimes when you have differences of opinion because of a generation gap or whatever else it may be. But your parents are your parents irreplaceable. You need to understand Allah has emphasized so much that we have chosen your parents for you and that is as a test for you. You've got to be very, very kind to your parents and respectful. The issue of kindness and respect is in the Quran. That alone shows us that no matter what they've done or what they say, we need to be kind and show respect to them. The only time we actually unplug is when they have committed a crime against us. A crime against us in the sense that there are some who have suffered abuse at the hands of their parents, especially when it comes to sexual abuse. My brothers and sisters, we need to understand Islam would ask you to respectfully distance yourself. If it needs to be taken further, it may be taken further, but respectfully. Remember that Allah Almighty has placed upon our shoulders to be dutiful to our parents. In the case of the vast majority, we sometimes become nasty. We sometimes say hurtful words to our parents. I have noticed one thing. The most successful from amongst us in the true sense are usually those who have a brilliant relationship with their parents. My beloved parents, if you're listening to this, I'm sure you're happy that we're addressing this matter because many parents complain to say, Sheikh, you only speak about how parents should be kind to their children and merciful and how we should adjust in order to help our children, but you never encourage the children to be dutiful unto us. That is far from the truth. They listen to a lot of the lectures, so they hear what is said. But we also encourage the children mainly to be kind, dutiful, respectful, because that's a verse of the Quran. Allah Almighty speaks about being kind to parents who are not even Muslim, to ensure that they are taken care of, to ensure that we pray that Allah Almighty guide them. We are allowed to pray for our parents who are alive, even for their guidance, their mercy, their health, and so much of goodness for them. They're alive. We ask Allah for goodness. The minute they pass on, if they were not Muslim, we leave it unto Allah. Allah tells us, it's okay. Now leave it to me. We leave it to Allah. But mashallah, tabarakallah, in the case of the vast majority, when our parents are Muslim and we still don't have a good relation with them, we need to have a very candid, beautiful, respectable relationship. You have a little bit of difference. Let them know, listen, my beloved father, I love you so much. But on this particular matter, we don't see eye to eye. And I believe that I'm correct in this one. If you can give up something for the sake of your parents, do so. If you cannot give up something permissible for the sake of your parents, it may not be something totally haram. You, you may want to address the matter with your parents. Many people have brilliant parents who care for them. They speak to them. They communicate with each other. They have a beautiful relationship, especially in this day and age. You need to have a good relationship with your parents children and your parents, both ways, because we're living in an age where people are trying to rip apart family units. And if what you are doing is going to be let to pass when you don't have an excuse to do anything of that nature, it's going to come to you as you grow older. People remember, I did this to my parents, so now my children are going to do something like that to me or even worse. It can happen. Kama tadinu tudanu. You know, it's a debt as the, the, what the type of debt you gave and that's what you're going to reap from it. You're going to be treated the way you treated others. So my brothers and sisters, this tonight is the 23rd night. I'm speaking to you here while we're in one of the nights that could be Laylatul Qadr. And I'm reminding you about what? Being dutiful to parents. The reason is Allah Almighty created you and I. And he chose a channel to bring you and I about into this earth. That 
was none other than your parents, no matter who they are. Whether they get along with each other or not is besides the point. You need to be dutiful unto both of them, whether they are separated, which is quite common nowadays, or not. You need to be kind and good to both of them and don't allow one to to actually brainwash you against the other. Yes, if there is heavy abuse and you've seen it or you are a part of it, you're a victim of it, you may want to step, keep a bit of a distance, but a respectful distance. Like I said earlier, depending on what exactly it is, because everyone's cases are different. This is a general piece of advice to say, my brothers and sisters, let's spend today thinking about this. Let's spend today trying to make amends. Speak to your folks. Tell them how much you love them, how much they mean to you. Serve them. Do something for them. Buy them something. Maybe contact them if you're far away. Speak to them. How are you? I'm missing you. And you know what? I love you so much. You've done so much for me. Appreciate what they did for you when you were little, when you were small, when they perhaps didn't have much. And now you're sitting. Time has passed. And mashallah, we have become people who are maybe qualified, graduated, successful to a degree, married. Perhaps we have our own children. Do you just abandon your parents simply because maybe your spouse didn't get along with your folks? No, you don't need to do that. You can explain to your spouse, listen, You have a problem with my folks, that's fine. I am their child. I need to maintain my relationship with them. For as long as they're not contaminating you against your spouse, you make sure that you are fulfilling their rights. If they are contaminating, you can tell them, listen, please don't talk to me about my spouse. Anything else but not about my spouse. That's how it should be. So this is some candid advice. It's beautiful. We need to make things work. It needs to be realistic advice. I can't tell you to obey your parents under all circumstances because even Allah did not say that. But I have to tell you to be kind, to be respectful. And when we say dutiful, generally those things that are permissible, if they were to ask you to do them or to help them in that, you should do that. And don't abandon them, no matter what. Those who've abandoned their parents you know what? They struggle in life. Those who are really nasty to their parents, later on in life, they regret it. One day when your parents are not there, you will realize. And that's why I want to end off by saying, all those who've lost their parents, we pray for them. May Allah Almighty grant them Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah Almighty bless Jami'i Mawt al-Muslimin, all the, those who've passed away from among the believers. And may Allah Almighty grant all of us every goodness. And those whose parents are alive, may Allah help us to improve our relationship with our parents. Like I said, parents who are listening to this, may Allah bless you too. Make it easy for your children. Don't try to interfere too much in their lives. They won't appreciate it. Once they're adults, remember, you have to let go a little bit. Some people like to control every aspect of their married children's lives. That's where everything goes wrong. That's where everything goes wrong. When they're married, you do not attempt to control every aspect of their lives. You can advise them. Let them make their decisions. They might make a few blunders. It's okay. They will grow together in love, harmony, and they will love you to pieces. Be easy going and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you ease in the dunya and the akhirah. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.